into day 11 of the 12 DIYs of giveaways. Uh, it is the last day to donate for the donations. Okay? Last day. Last, last day. Push. Cannot believe we made it this far. Day 11. This is a lot of work. Next year, I am doing a craft-a-thon again. I'm going to do a... Like eight hour day? Maybe I'll do an eight hour craft a thon. A happy medium between a one day five hour and a 12 day event. It's a lot. It's a yeah. lot to take a 12 days of my December. I know. But it's all worth it. It's all great. We're doing good things. We are raising so much money. Um, all the things you guys are doing. All of that. And I'm really, really, really thankful for you guys. You've done a great job orchestrating. I'm about to die. No, you'd be okay. <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm just, this is a lot. It's been a lot. And spiritual battles, we started talking about that in the beginning of this series with How's that going for just you? the effort, like going to Africa alone with spiritual battles. But I knew that doing something like this would bring spiritual battles. And so far, I'll take technology issues, not so bad. But, uh, going okay but we still have one more day and I had a feeling like the last day was going to be the day that like everything caught up to me and I was just overwhelmed tired exhausted uh, but it's okay you know I just have a birthday party tomorrow and an event to do tonight and a bunch of things <laughs> but that's just gonna be fine so There's we're light at the end of the tunnel ugh, the tunnel is like this like this like the end Sunday where you're like, Sunday morning Okay, right? Sunday morning. There we go. Sunday morning rain. Fourth falling. quarter, last push. Okay. Anyways, so Dustin is my co-host today. I'm What's sure up, everybody? you all are so excited to have him here. I'm just excited to hang out with you. Okay. You've been busy. Yeah, I've been busy. I've been um, stressed out today, to say the least. So. Is that what you call it? Yeah. But I want you guys can end my day well by donating, and we can make a lot of money for Christ Hope International. Um, I started the day rummaging through my garage, finding all the supplies that I have that I wanted to give away, and we ended up making hold this. You made an anti tay box. I did. What? And bag. What? So How we're cool. gonna give away fifteen bags Ooh. or boxes today. And in oh, those, do I get a don't guess? shake them. Sorry, can I guess? Sure, guess. All right, there's some bling in there. Yeah, there's, no, some of them have bling. Uh, sounds like some glitter. <sighs> can I just sell them? And a bujo. There's, there's a bujo there's a in a in box. There is um, glitter, a Mickey glitter, which is like an unseen glitter that we're not going to ever sell because it's Mickey Mouse. So there's a Mickey glitter in there. There's um, a random color of glitter that we're never gonna sell in that size again. There is, uh, what else did I put in there? Art. There is art from Africa. When I was in the garage, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that we have these. How cute. And these are from the little kids that you actually are seeing in the videos. So, um, these will be in a box or a bag if you win in the videos today, as well as if you want a bujo or something else from the past videos, you probably will get one of these too. Can't promise you, but most of the time you will get that. Yes, bujo in a box. In its own anti-tay box. In its box. own anti-tay box. You've showed the box, haven't I you? will, but guys, we're going to talk about the bujo Monday yeah. morning on all the things. Guess what? They are here. They are in stock. They are getting to you before Christmas. All the pre-orders are coming this week, and I'm so excited. You can order it now, but we got to get those pre-orders out, and um, yeah, we don't want the big rush, so we're not going to talk about it too much today. Yep, that's right. So, anyways, the art that I will lovingly talk about this art, these are from the Desi Care Point, which is the one that you guys see with the little kids, and... One of our team members went back and, bless his soul, we sent him with an art project to have the kids do. And he's he's not the craftiest guy on earth. But he loves the kids. He loves the kids. And we were like, hey, Jim, but can you do a craft with the kids and bring it back? <laughs> and he's like, sure. And so we sent him they with... They great. Yeah, we sent him with some watercolor paper and a bunch of, like, um, tissue and 
showed him this technique on how to watercolor. We, we had him take all the kids and make this watercolor background. And then we had him trace their hands on the back and write their name, what care point they are, how old they are at the time. This was a year and a half ago. And then what they wanted to be. And then me and another uh, team member cut these out with the Cricut and put it on top. So we cut and then she matted them and framed them and they are a piece of art. And so I put those in the giveaway boxes. So you'll literally get one of the kids hand print and art that they made. But then we made it with the cricket on top of it. So we kind of like melded that whole world together. All fun things. So that will be inside of 15 of these. There's packages? more. 15 just right now oh, that I could whoa, give away. Dang. If we Gotta raise for every $100, I'm giving away a box. Okay. It comes with a bujo, comes with an art piece, comes with some glitter, comes with some Mickey glitter. So, um, Literally, when Stephanie sends the word, she's sending over winners as we talk. Um, okay, looks like we already have a couple winners. My messages is lagging on my laptop, which is so lame. Um, There's also other giveaways tonight. There are so many fun giveaways. We have an Instagram giveaway going on over on Instagram that my business members put together for you guys. You need to follow Antite Giveaways, and then that account is following, following all those members that are giving away $30 gift cards to their stores. Follow every single one of them, and we will pick a winner for you guys to win. Each one will win. There'll be that many winners. Does that make sense? There's lots of winners. That's all I, I've heard winners, winners, winners. So and you'll many be a winner. winners. If you donate tonight. Okay. So, not only are we giving that away, but we are giving away, cus not custom, but engraved Apple Watch bands for every $100 that we give, uh, that, that you guys give. Uh, honeycomb, blanking on the whole name, Honeycomb Workshop is giving away an Apple band watch for every single $100 that's donated. So, thank you, Honeycomb, Honeycomb what did I just say? Workshop. Workshop. <laughs> Thank you, honey. We're going to get through this. Yeah, are we? <laughs> um, yes, keep donating. If you're new and you don't know what's going on, um, you go over to antitade.com and you can continue watching, watching that video on the page and you can also donate there. But when you donate, you are entering to win a dream card or a $500 Michaels gift card or a, um, what else? Uh, 400, icon an icon art, $500 icon art kit, a $400 gift card to Expressions Vinyl plus a year of their new vinyl club, um, and a foil quill bundle. And then I'm giving away five $100 gift cards to shop Auntie Tay. There's going to be five Dang. winners for that tomorrow. And that's all the big ones. And then the business member one is big too. Um, Catherine says, let's get that 10000 do it. Um, 10,000. And gonna guys, get it. I have to cut this video off right at 5 PST because I have to, because I have another event that I'm hosting tonight. So I literally, <laughs> if we do not hit that 10,000, I hope you go to sleep tonight sad. <laughs> wow. Kidding. I'm just kidding. But. <laughs> feisty one today. I am so feisty No, we're going to get to that 10,000. Um, we're going to do it. We are going to get there. Okay. Yep. We are at $8,530. And we have an Apple Watch Band winner who is Chantel Cosette. Sorry if I said that wrong. But we have our first Way winner. Way to go, Chantel. Also, winner, winner. we have... Uh, we already have another winner. Winner box two, or who's the winner? Winner box one is is uh -huh. that winner winning a, a Apple Watch and a box? No, or I think the, we should have more than one winner. Name for the winner Where do you box see that? Two, right after winner box two. See, there's another name. I'm looking for winner box one. Maybe that didn't come through in the message when it crashed. <sighs> Stephanie will have to hook you up. You have all the answers. Okay, winner box two is Nancy Inglehart. So you get a box or a bag. They have the same things in them, but we had some leftover anti-tape boxes lying around in my garage, so um, I was able to use boxes. Um, okay, but uh, Stephanie, can we pick another winner for a box before that too? So we should have a box one, a box two, and a Apple Watch winner. If that makes sense. Okay, so we're making an angel today, but I decided I think we're going to make an angel another day. <laughs> because we literally just want to raise money. But 
I will gladly talk about the angel if you guys want to. Uh, do you guys want to know how to make this angel? I nixed the gnome all together because I was like, we really just want to want to hang the out. The gnome was super cute, um, though. I can't see comments from my phone. Yes, it was super cute, and I plan to do the angel and the gnome. If you guys don't remember, we're doing Craft Your Stash after this series, so I will be live like three to four or five times a day sometimes just making projects. Literally bust a project out, wrap it, and put it under the tree. And uh, You need to smile like Olaf behind you. <laughs> <laughs> but can you Grinch smile is the oh question. Oh, my gosh. That was hilarious. Can you Grinch smile? Um... Do we have any more winners? Winner, Welcome, winner, Angela winner. Diaz. Um, okay, so you want to give me that bag really quick? Yes, ma'am. So our business Super members, cute bag. right? I actually ordered this bag after I saw it. It was so cute. But Tis So Sweet Treasures. You didn't treasures, just order it. You like, you jumped on it. Yeah. And was like, I need that. Well, yeah, because it's adorable. <laughs> and actually, after I bought it, she ended up getting way many orders because it's an adorable bag. So if you didn't know, being a business member, you are able to send me things and I will unbox it on my Instagram and show people. And sometimes that just opens the world up to seeing what you offer. She ended up being swamped this Christmas making things and I'm happy about that. So she also, I whenever I see them killing it and making amazing things, I'm going to shop from them and then I'm going to show it off. So she actually sent me this for my birthday. And this is something you'll be able to get with the $30 credit. Maybe it might be a little bit more than $30, but a $30 gift card to her store would get you something along this line, but you could always put it towards a bag like this. And then another person who sent me a lovely birthday present was Teresa. And she is one of the accounts that you will follow. And she made me this adorable hunter picture. And she does these custom SVGs and turns them into turns your dog or your animal into an SVG and then puts it on a reverse canvas for you. And so that's like, super I heard cute. My name. Yes. And so we keep this right above his dog food bowl or his dog food. And then he just looks at you and then I'm begged from two angles. <laughs> so, uh, and then we have a few other shops that are also giving things away. So you don't want to not follow any of them. You want to follow all of them. Um, oh, you want to see the inside of the bag. And she does custom work. So if you want, her, my bag is white, but it, it also has two pockets. So it has like pockets right there and then it has a pocket here, but it has a rainbow zipper. And the zipper up here is a tangled lantern. So cute. And then the one on this is a Mickey pool and then the zipper is rainbow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so many cute details that she puts into her work. And then um, I know Stephanie ordered a bag and she customized hers to have cheetah on the inside. I can't wait to see it. It is so cute. And it has these little grommets. Like it stands up. It has like grommets on the bottom. So cute. I love it. I haven't even used it because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> so cute. Just going to show it off. Yep. Okay. We have winner three Apple Watch band is Janet Fleming. Winner four. Oh, I see what we're doing here. Okay, we're doing Apple Watch Band box. Apple Watch Band box. Okay. Uh, winner four for a box is Leah. How do you say that? Galliard? Uh, Gallard? 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 Gallard. I don't know. I, I said it eight it. different it's ways and they probably said it all she wrong. She knows who she is. She knows who she is. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Okay. So, you have any videos you guys showed today? Yeah, I do. Let's go over to the second to the last. Um, first, let's talk about Christ Up International. If you guys are new and you've just started joining this series, it's a good overview, um, right? yeah, we'll do a little overview of what we're raising money for and all that. So, CHI is yes. an organization that helps children in sub Saharan Africa infected or affected by HIV. I've been privileged to come alongside this organization for over the last 10 years and have been able to witness firsthand some of the work that they do. The children that CHI finds to take in are often orphans or partially orphaned children. They're most of the time not able to afford school or healthcare or food. 
CHI bridges that gap by raising money and supports these children so that they can go to school, cover any fees that they need, nourish them with a meal every single day, gives them a community on Saturdays to hear the gospel and eat another nutritional meal, visits them in their homes when they're sick, checks in on them, and one of the most important things, takes care of any medical needs that they have. In 2018, we raised $18,000 for CHI just by me sharing some of the stories. I am so excited to share with you over the next 12 days all of the fun things that I've gotten to experience as well as some of the hard things, but more importantly, what God is doing through this entire story. I pray that you see the love that I have for these children of Africa and also that your heart will be tugged to love them as well. Thank you for your support and I can't wait to share more with you about CHI, my journey, my sponsored kids, and how you guys can help. And we're back. All right. Sorry if you heard Siri in the beginning. <laughs> my watch. The French Siri guy. My watch just happened to say, what did he say? Sorry. Can't hear you. Which is a great segue to the fact that we're giving away Apple Watch fans by Honeycomb Workshop every $100 we raise. Thank you, Sandy, for donating. Thank you, Emily, for donating. Thank you, Cindy, for donating. You guys are awesome. So if people are just joining us, what what are they, what are they getting tonight? What are the giveaways tonight? Uh, you say it. I've said it a hundred times. We're giving away for every one hundred dollars that's donated tonight. Uh, Honeycomb, right? Workshop is giving away Apple wristbands that have engravings on them. Uh, we're also giving away a box that has a bunch of anti-taste stuff in there. There's the bujo. There's glitter. There's bling. There's I don't know. Maybe there's even some dog hair in there. Uh, <laughs> and you're getting an awesome. Uh, our piece of artwork from kids that are in uh, Christ Hope International over in Africa. Yep. From the Desi Care Point, right? Yep. yep. And the cool thing about this was when we were coming up with the craft to do for over there, um, we had to come up with something simple enough that Jim could do by himself. <laughs> but uh, it was really cool because we were able to ask them what they wanted to be when they grow up. And that was something that was you know, it's just, it makes you think, like, these kids have dreams, they have aspirations to be these things, they don't just want to exist, and, thank you, Hunter, for some, you know, a lot of kids in Africa, just surviving is enough, you know, just being able to eat is enough, but these kids actually want to be something. And a lot of the a lot of the kids wanted to be nurses and doctors. And that just shows like they're able to see what nurses and doctors do because of Christ Hope International. Like they're able to go into the hospitals and be seen by a nurse and a doctor because of Christ Hope International, which then makes them realize I'm alive because of a nurse or a doctor and I want to be a nurse or a doctor. And so having a lot of them say things like that just made us realize like this is this is good like this is this is a good art piece for us to do with them and then also to be able to see their hand and then because we're going to be involved in their lives for the rest of our lives we'll be able to see this hand grow because of Christ Hope International so yeah. the hand you get is literally a hand of a child that one of our team members one of our friends who went over there he was on my trip with me. He might, he might even be in some of those shots. He is. He's the one sitting next to the little girl eating the sucker. Um, he went over there again alone on his own trip and and was able to do that and get all these made. So, super, super cool. cool. Yep. Thank you for donating, Diana. Thank you, Lauren, for donating. Thank you, Lynn. Um, thank you, Bethany. Do we need to donate on here as well? No, you do not need to donate on YouTube. Oh, wow. Okay. So, did we announce? No, we did not. Okay. Winner number five is an Apple Watch band, and that's Emily Kromberg. Woo! Way to go, Emily. Winner number six. Number six. Is a box or bag, and that is Marissa Ekaveri. Ekaveri. Ek that's how I'm saying it, and I'm sticking you know what to it. You should do one year is you should announce when students graduate. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, thank you. That would be not fun for me. Winner number seven for a watch band is Layla Garcia. And winner eight for a box is Kelsey Nesmith. So thank you. Congrats. Thank you all four of you guys for donating. But we have winner number nine for an Apple Already? Watch, Corinne. And winner number 10 for a box is Megan Doubting. Okay, so... I'm not the best at math, but I think we're doing we every do? fifty dollars because oh, every $50? the Apple Watch is every hundred dollars. But then so we're throwing we're boxes like, in. I think at every other hundred, or maybe at a hundred, we're doing both winners. But we're at winner number nine for watch band. That means we've almost hit a thousand dollars. Well, I don't know. Sh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. That's all. It's all good. I'm guessing, but that's really exciting. Yay, yes, Corinne, yep. A great project to do is draw a cross on a canvas and have each kid dip their finger in a color of paint of their choice and put your print on the cross. Ends up with a cross for kids' fingerprints. That's super cool. We did um, we did a care point swap one year, but I don't know what happened to the art project. It was kind of like this flag that we hung. I think we gave it to the kids, but we had all the people from our church put their thumbprints on it in hearts and then we sent that over that was really cool um woo! we are at <laughs> people won't stop donating that stephanie is a says, great comment way to we're keep getting our there friends. guys we're gonna guys, do it me and stephanie today we were like this has been the longest 11 days of our lives but you know what you guys are making it worth it yep. so we're at nine thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars that's awesome i told I said at the beginning, we are going to hit $10,000, and yeah. you were kind of like, eh, that's kind of like stretching it, and you know, our goal, our thing was, if we didn't hit 10000 we personally were going to uh, bump us up to get there, but oh, I believe- you can't say that, then they're not going to no, no, give no. it. No, 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 this is the next part. Okay. I believe in them, and I believe you have an awesome community of people that uh, you love on, and you guys are doing a phenomenal job, and I believe that they- Will get us to the ten thousand dollars. I think you guys can. Um, I think you're is, gonna do it's it. It's insane. Like it's super cool that when you give, I mean, there's so many different opportunities that you could win something. Um, even if they only give five dollars, you're still getting digital files that are well worth it. But yeah. um, there's but, but most of you guys are members, and so I know yeah. you guys get a lot of those files anyways. So I just love that you guys are supporting no matter what. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. Yeah. With, you know, fundraising stuff like that. It's yeah, you get stuff back, but it's really the the heart behind it. Yeah. Um, and this is a huge impact on uh, kids' lives halfway around the world, um, especially in the midst of COVID. Right. You know? And this this is going to go on for a while. Yeah, um, and that's a great segue to a lot of people ask what um, if you guys don't follow Christ Hope International or have never heard of them, they have their YouTube channel. And Dave Case has updated on like what COVID looks like over there and stuff like that. If you're interested in more information, but um, just a short answer on that is Christ Hope International is not able to actually do the care points right now. So instead they are going to their homes every single day and giving them food and checking in on them. So they are still present in all the kids' lives. They just can't gather them in the care points like you see in the videos with them playing and stuff, which is just like our kids here. You know, our kids are having to miss out on a bunch of community time, and it's detrimental for our kids' mental health to hang out with other kids and see yeah. other kids, their social life. Um, so that is an element that they are lacking right now, but they will get back to that. But they have taken their volunteers and they're out in the field every single day going to their homes making sure that they're fed every single day and medical and all this stuff so it yeah. looks very similar to here um that's too if you're sitting there thinking like hey i don't have anything to give that's that's where you're at you know just sharing uh what's going on sharing the video or tagging auntie tay in this it was just a huge step but even just being present is awesome that you're here with us um, so, but even if you give five bucks, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, $500, um, it's all going to impact the Christ Hope International kids. And, um, you know, these are obviously you've seen in the video, these are, you know, kids that she's hung out with a bunch of people that we know have interacted with these kids. We have, um, you know, four kids that we sponsor ourselves that you've seen twice. 
Uh, yes. Twice well, and. Yeah, I mean, I met the two new ones on this last trip. And Emmanuel, Emmanuel's like a grown man now. Yeah, he's <laughs> huge. And I told the story of Esther and Emmanuel, and he was ten, and she was three. And Esther is the same age as Landis, so 14. She's turning mm -hmm. 14 tomorrow, so Esther's 14 That's now, insane. which is older than what Emmanuel was. Emmanuel is like, I went on my second trip, and I was so glad to have little kids that we sponsored <laughs> too, because I was like, oh, they're so cute. And then I was like, oh, I get to see my kids. And like, Emmanuel comes walking down the street, and I'm like, He's huge. He's not a kid anymore. He's a grown man. But that's why we're doing this, to have established adults who then can move forward and help yeah. Kenya. Like, yeah. they are going to be productive members of society in Kenya. And in 20, 40 years, hopefully so many of these people will be able to Change invest back into their own country. And they can't do much until they're on their own feet, you know? Yeah. And so helping them is, is so important. Um Okay, we had another, we had two more winners, and then I'm going to go into winner, winner, winner. part 11 of the story, and then we're going to end it out with my story tonight. Drum roll, <laughs> done with that. winners. All right, watch band winner, we have Michaela Flatman, and then a box winner, we have Jessica Saya. See ya. Say ya. Michaela and Jessica, you guys are winners. Winna, winna, winna. I really wish I had that video. We, there's a song that the kids sing in Africa. Oh. Dance like a winner. You are a winner. Okay, <laughs> here is my part 11, 12, 11. And so there were so many things that were revealed to me, but I didn't really know why I was a part of it or how I, how I played a part in any of this story. And... We, um, we did this trip. It was incredibly heart-wrenching, but I was so numb to so much of it because of the grief that I was already experiencing, um, which I'm grateful for because I don't know if I could have handled being able to fully feel all of the stuff that we witnessed. So I got home and... Um, I'm in a season right now where roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. We've tried to schedule another trip to Africa and COVID has happened and many things have postponed it and it's just not happening. So two years ago, I decided I need to be an at-home missionary again. What can I do? And we did the fundraiser in 2018 my family set aside money because we were thinking if we can't go to Africa we need to put aside the money that we would have spent going and being a part of them and we need to give to Christ Hope International so we saved for an entire year we saved up ten thousand dollars and then we did the five hour live where you guys raised eight thousand more dollars we were able to donate eighteen thousand dollars on Giving Tuesday two years ago and I was just dumbfounded. Then 2019 happened and that was the storm that made me realize I was only just in the eye of the storm when all of the stuff was happening. 2019 almost wiped my family off the face of the planet and I was not able to do a Giving Tuesday video or series or anything. I will not go too much into 2019 in this video series because that's a whole nother story in itself, but I just knew that one day I wanted to get revived enough to start doing more work in Africa and for the children of Africa. So this year, 2020, even though it's been crazy and different and chaotic, I know that we're going to do something big this year. All right, we have updates, and I see a lot of you guys asking questions like, if you donate, do I donate? <laughs> or if you purchase a ticket, I donate it. Yes, every single dollar that is coming through those donations is going to Christ Hope International. So not taking anything, um, and we will update you guys on the in total. Okay, we have winner. Did I say? Yes, I said those winners. We have winner 13 for another Apple Watch band is Caitlin Davis. And box number 14 is Sarah 
bum gardener. So we actually only have one more box, Stephanie. Only one more. And also, Honeycomb Workshop wanted you guys to know that she's doing a 40% off sale until tomorrow? Today? Tonight. Tonight? tonight? It was tonight. It was tonight. Yeah. Okay. And there's a code for that. It's uh, Anti Tay 14, I believe. No, not 14. 40. I'll have her comment in the in there. Um, the total set. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm guessing we're at nine thousand five hundred dollars because it says we're five hundred dollars away. And are we crafting tonight? I don't know if we're crafting tonight. We are gonna make this adorable angel, which is over there. But I think I'm gonna have to make that angel again with you guys soon because we made a bunch of them today and um because the angels are going to appear to a lot of my friends this season um tay 40 is the code thank you rocks so tay 40 for 40 percent off her apple watch bands um woo! sarah says she's just glad to be donating so i am glad to be giving things away so i only have one more bag but if we continue at this rate we are going to need to find some more things to give away. So um, I can do some glitters. I see your glitter, I see your boxes and I raise you glitters. So for the next um, next donations, we'll give away glitters and, or I could do bujos, or I could do, what else could I give away? Just give away stuff. I could give away Just anything. Give away. We could also you do- You give away gift cards to your store. We can do that. We can do that. So yep. um, we've almost reached Dustin's prediction. We're gonna get there. All right. I just shared it on Facebook, and it's gonna a bunch more people are gonna join because I shared it. Good job. But I tagged you. Good job. <laughs> Can you guys? Did you share? Did you tag Auntie Tay? I did. Okay. Um. I looked up Auntie Tay, and there's like a you know a bunch of random people. I was like, oh, I better select the right person. Haley said, <laughs> "How do I make that gnome? I need to know how to make that gnome." Is so, that gnome? The gnome is super cute. Yeah, like you got. Is, the gnome where's is super he at? cute. He's right here. And honestly, guys, he's super easy to make, and we will um, do a quick tutorial of it. Okay, so you take a sock, you fill it with, with rice, you put a rubber band on it, and then you fold this down like this so that he's like that. Then you take a little piece of fur and you glue the fur on. Then you take two pieces of fabric triangle and you hot glue them like you're sewing them and turn them right side out, put it on top fold it over, glue a pom-pom, and then glue a piece of wood to the front. Okay, I think you just created a new show right there. Craft? 20 Second Crafts? No. <laughs> what? Crafting 60 Seconds or Less. There's a new series. Seconds. Okay, said, 20 Seconds. Oh, sorry. Crafting in 20 Seconds or Less. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, Stephanie's saying that you guys are donating so much and so fast that the website keeps freezing. We're $300 away, still Woo! waiting for winner's names to load. So we will get the winners' names soon. We're crashing the system. Crashing it. I shouldn't say we are. How you about guys this? Are. We hit the ten thousand, and then I make the angel. <laughs> so I am going to show you guys this. I do want to do this thing justice, and I've tried every single year to make the angel and show you guys. We've done it a few times in the live videos, but it's a book that I wrote for my kids, and it's an advent book. It's an advent book that I wrote for my kids, like back when they were little. Actually, it's because I went and I bought the elf on the shelf and then when I got the book, I did not like the idea of the book, of the elf on the shelf. I did not like the book at all. And so I was like, but I'm my- I'm gonna write my own. I did, I was and like- I'm gonna do my own artwork. I was like, I want the same concept, fun little guy to move around the house or girl, but I don't want to make it feel like my kids have to be good 24 seven and are watch, being watched. So turn it into an Advent book. So all about the birth of Jesus, all about waiting for Jesus, Advent. And then, um, and there's lots of really cute things in there. But the book is supposed to be designed for using on the 15th to the 25th. So it's only a 10 day Advent because parents, it's harder for us to yeah. stick to 25 days for me. So um, I'm actually going to have my kids narrate the book and we're going to make a video Aww, and that's gonna be super we're cute. delivering the angels to all the people around us who have little kids this year. So trying to push that forward because my kids are lame and old now and so they've they spent the whole day making angels 
uh, with my niece and painting faces and making hair and styling hair and all the fun things. And so um, we will have a better tutorial up soon <laughs> and I'll have, a, I'll have a video on a lot of these things. Okay, is that a part of you guys' new adopt a mom project? Oh gosh, you're going into that. <laughs> so Sorry, Landis, time of the day. I don't know. We could talk about our dreams. It's a super cool idea. It is a cool idea. Okay, winner fifteen Apple Watch is Helena Willis. Woo! Winner for glitter is Roxanne Carcula. Winner seventeen for Apple Watch is Jean Diaz. So I did say your name. I know you asked that. Winner nineteen for a bubble journal is Chantel Cosette. All right. Chantel. Yep. You really want to talk about the adopt a mom program? I don't. Well, I don't know. I'm super proud of Landis for coming up with I wanting am. to do this. It just so. shows her heart. Yeah. So we were talking about what success looks like um, a couple days ago because she was like, "I want to be successful," and I'm like, "Well, what does success look like to you?" And she's like, "I want to be financially stable and be able to give and be able to do what I love and have any career I want, but also have time to serve and." I want to have, I want to help moms who um, want to give their babies up for adoption, but can't. I want to make it easier for them to give them up for adoption. And I think she had said she wanted to donate to, oh, she wanted to donate to the foster system or make the foster system better so that people don't want to abort babies because they're afraid that their babies will go to a horrible foster system. And so... Mm -hmm. That was heavy, and that was a lot, and I was like, okay, I love that. <laughs> I love that for you. And I was like, what if we um, start an organization event one day? And she was like, I could do that. And I was like, yeah, what, you know, and then we were talking about adoption, and then we were talking about um, the ability to adopt a mom. If you're not willing to adopt a baby, it'd be cheaper, and it'd be easier. You could go around the system, and you could adopt a mom, to take in and help that mom be stable enough to get on their feet so that they can raise their own baby. And you're basically like an adopted auntie or grandma. And I was like, I'm about that life. <laughs> Obviously, I love being an you auntie. You watch babies all the time. Oh, man. Yeah. Jen says she sounds like she has some great parents. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I am, too. It, it really hit me because I, you know, I'm always trying to encourage them to have, like, a mission in life and what God's calling them. And they're always like... <sighs> Save the turtles, which I'm like, that's great. I love saving turtles too. I'm actually glad they've dropped that one. Well, I love, I don't mind saving turtles. It's great. But I'm like, but our call is to love widows and orphans. And so how can we do that? And so you guys Long, are doing it. Oh my gosh, we're at $9,800. Woo! Woo! 200 to go. We're okay. Get there. Winner 18 for glitter out of, uh, is Melissa Alvarez. I think I said that right. I love your girl so cute and smart. They're hilarious together. Yeah, together they're a little hard to deal with sometimes, <laughs> but they're fun. Um, I know, isn't that such a cool idea? I think we were we were trying to process that, and so that's been that's been really cool to kind of think. Well, I like, think a lot of women that find themselves in that situation too, they don't have either stability themselves or they're single, and they realize maybe they're not going to have the financial support. Uh, well, basically all the burden will be put on them. Yeah. And so, you know, what does it look like to, you know, love on a new mom? Yeah. Like, there's a lot that you go through. I know a lot of women deal with, um, why am I spaced on the name? What? <laughs> uh, depression after oh, you. Oh, postpartum depression. Postpartum depression. Yes. And, yeah, just all those difficult so things. So many out. things. Yeah, like, and, that, and that's what I was thinking about, you know, like, I was grateful I mean I, I got pregnant at 19 and so I could have easily you know been you could have just ditched me and I would have been struggling and I didn't have parents who I could just run to and I, I had to end up moving in with your parents you know and so I think about that as like it's so many moms even just young moms would benefit from having somebody take them in for that you yeah. know it doesn't even have to be like oh you have to take me in and do everything for me it could literally just be like i have a safe place for you to live and raise the baby until you're on your feet you know yeah so yep. um that would be so cool which we might have to do some fundraisers for some fun things like that soon i know there's an organization around us that we love so i told her she, maybe we could start volunteering over there and get to know like and start questioning asking questions like how do you get involved with stuff like this and 
if you ever want to make your own organization or get involved with something, start with any organization around it's you. It's already doing it. Yeah. That you and, can learn from. And sometimes you might realize, like, what we're doing with CHI, like, I, I wanted to support all the kids myself, and God really told me, like, you could... You'll be anti-Tay. I did. I wanted my own care point. I wanted an anti-Tay care point where I paid for all those kids to live. And then... Legit, he, you're like, let's buy them some land. I did. Let's we started... Let's build a, a building. That's why we have four kids because I started with two and I was like, okay, every time I start making more income, I'm going to take in another kid and I want to be a Mother <clears throat> Teresa with all these kids. But then God was like, listen, that's great. But you know you could do so much more if you got other people on fire for this, too. Yep. And that's yeah. when I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. So and there's then, already a great organization that's doing that. Yeah. And the, the super cool thing is that, you know, it's about keeping kids connected to their family. Yes. Um, because, I mean, we know the mental, emotional, you know, trauma that happens when kids don't have, a, you know, their nuclear family. Yep. Um, you know, so that's one thing they try to strive on. We have an Apple Watch Band winner, Virginia Yeeman. Congratulations. Woo! Lynn gave $50. Thank you, Lynn. We're getting closer. We're going to do it. We have 20 more minutes. You guys are going to do it. You guys are going to do it. We have 20 more minutes of this for you guys to donate for us to try to raise $200. I'm lying. $100. One hundred Okay? We're going to do this. More. $9,900. The person that hits $10,000 gets the last box. The person that puts us up at $10,000 gets that last box. That's 20 of you doing 5 bucks or 10 of you doing $10. And then just think, I know I know a lot of you have been giving on a daily basis uh, or you've given tonight. Uh, but if you have previously given, it increases your odds for the different uh, giveaways that have been talked about over the last few days. Yep. Um, you could potentially land on that hundred dollar mark and win a uh, apple watch or, oh sorry it's the last bag apple watch or bands. box yeah apple watch yeah sorry we're not giving away <laughs> apple watches are not being given away yeah apple watch bands which are super cool if you ever want a custom apple watch band um honeycomb, honeycomb workshop, workshop Yep. Super cool. When I saw that in the mail, I was like, oh, hashtag jealous. I know. I need to swap <laughs> out the for the other colors. I just wear this color all the time because it's my favorite color. So I she also sent me the teal one and I think a, a bright pink one. But I just don't wear those colors as much. So I need to swap it out. Hey, birthday, my birthday's coming up. You want an Apple Watch band? Sure. You gotta say these things far. Okay, birthday, I get it. But no, you gotta no, not say these. We don't need she Christmas. can also do custom engraved on the inside. So, like, if you're, uh, Ooh, you can leave me a secret message. Yeah, you can what leave would a you secret. Say uh, I love <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey there, handsome. No, it's just, every time we call Hunter, we're just like the girls just swoon over Hunter. So like he gets so jealous because we're always like, "Hey, handsome boy," and he's always like, "Hi." Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Landis, she's always like, "Hey, handsome." Like, yes. what's up, kid? Next winner puts us over ten thousand dollars. Okay, but we have a we're glitter winner. We have a glitter winner. There? No, we have a glitter winner, Leah Kamenik. Nope. Come on, say it again. Nope. I'm sticking to that. Uh, winner, winner, Leah. We, who's, don't say winner, winner. Oh, yeah, Leah just won. Leah just oh, won. Oh, I, I caught, who, who? I just said someone's name and thought they were a winner. But no. you were. You're a winner. Tania, Leah. you're a winner. Thanks. Winner, winner, winner. Okay, let's go into the final end of my story, and then we will come back with the winner, because I know there's going to be one. And so when I came up with 12 DIYs of giveaways, I thought, this is it. I don't know how much we're going to raise. I know God's doing something. I know there's so many more stories from Africa I want to share. And there's so much more I want to talk about with you guys. But all I know is we don't need it to be that extravagant. But we've got these amazing sponsors. And I'm doing so well with my craft business that I'm able to give and all I want to do is give this year. I didn't do a Black Friday sale because I just wanted to be able to focus this year on doing something with you guys that unifies us and end the year strong with something amazing. So if 2020 kind of sucked for you guys, um, 
I encourage you to scour up $5 and donate so that we can do something together and end this year with a huge good thing. I love you guys and thank you so much for being a part of my life. You guys don't even know the love and support that you guys give me, what it has done for me in the la this entire journey without my YouTube channel. I would have been so miserable in some moments when I ran to creative outlets like creating crafts or things for you guys as my members. So thank you. I love you guys. I can't wait to share more. Let's do something big. All right, and that is the end of my story. That has taken 12 days and some glitches, 11 days. Tomorrow is day 12, and we are literally just going to be reading winner names out of a bucket. That's going to be fun to we're, watch. Yeah, we're so excited to just announce winners. And again, if you don't win anything, you still have really come alongside this and helped so immensely. We have a Apple Watch winner, Erica Williams. We Way have, to go, Erica. We have a glitter winner, Clarissa Velarde. Clarissa. Clarissa V. <laughs> and an Apple Watch winner, Samantha Bonnell. 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 Sorry. Uh, did I say... Okay. Oh. And then we have the last box winner who got us to $10,000 is Tammy Letting Ham. What Tammy. Are doing? Okay. Tammy's hanging out all the time. I don't, I don't know if it's the same Tammy. Way to go, guys. Is you it... rock. Tammy, great job pushing us over that Hold on. We have more winners. Mark. I know. Okay. More are coming. Glitter winner, Ermaris Robles. Apple Watch winner, April Milton. Okay. Wow, Stephanie, you're, you're busy. Last time we checked, we were at $10,255. Woo! Woo! Way to go, you guys. Yeah. You guys rock. Uh-oh. We got, we got Hunter all jacked <laughs> Hunter up, man. Hype. Hunter's jumping up to bite the chair. <laughs> we still have 14 minutes to spare, so I think 10, we can make an Let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Look at the new one. What? Okay, $10,435. We should be professional fundraisers. <laughs> Just no, new fundraiser because, tomorrow. Because no, you know why? When people give, they give because they trust the person who is... I didn't say it like professional fundraiser. No, like professional, like we Just should do it fun. again. I need a break after this one. <laughs> I need a big break. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. So, all the winners are going to be announced tomorrow for certain stuff along with these winners. They are. Lots of winners tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. You want to join us. It's Landis' birthday. Yep. You want to say happy birthday to her. Um, she loves doing this. Um, next year, I'm already telling you, and I'm sure we'll have some other types of fun fundraiser style things. Until next year, we did the adoption in March with our friends who are still waiting on a baby. We will keep you updated on that. Um, and thank you to Honeycomb Workshop for providing all the Apple Watch bands. Go and support their store. Yes. They get a 40% 40 40 off. 40% off. Custom engraved anti-Tay 40 or Tay 40. I said it before. <laughs> I should remember this. And thank you to my other business members who have donated. I hope you guys get some Instagram followers. Um, we've got uh, Winslow's Only Hope, who is a really awesome gamer that makes these game. She like bridges the gaming world with crafting. So if you have any gamers in your life, that's definitely something you want to check out. Uh, Shell of a Shop Boutique makes amazing custom tumblers. We have another couple people on there who make amazing custom tumblers. So if you're in the market to find some DIY and handmade stuff, you can follow them. They are business members. They support our organization. All Do you the have things. them all posted on your website? They are on, so on Instagram, I have a new account called Antitase Giveaways. I will use that account every time we do one of these. And anybody I follow on there, you got to follow them. So I'll unfollow all those people for the next round of giveaways, some, whatever we do for another giveaway. And then whoever that account follows, there'll always be less than like 20 people on there. So, um, but you guys can follow that if you want to stay up to date on any giveaways that we do. But for now, that's how you do that. Um, I've been sharing it in my stories all day today and talking about that. 
um, I heard my name as a winner. So tomorrow we'll have a list of all the winners on the website page and then we'll have you guys email us this week and we'll be getting all the prizes out. So we'll go into that tomorrow. Um, Shell of a Shot Boutique makes amazing things. Stephanie is commenting how to enter. Um, Teresa, don't forget to check out her. Her YouTube channel, Chronically Teresa, is amazing. Um, we watched her Summer, story last night. We huh. did. No, we watched her YouTube video. Oh, her Summer, YouTube video. Summer K. Like story. Summer K is another YouTuber, upcoming YouTuber, who's a business member who wants to be an influencer. So she has donated a... Um, $30 gift card. They're basically all $30 gift cards. So you can pick what you want or what they have in stock. Um, and you can message them if you win it to see what, what they want to give away. Um, Stephanie is the best. We love Stephanie. <laughs> um, Stephanie needs a break too. Me too. Okay. $10,510. We have a wow. glitter winner. Sus That's super cool. Suzanne Oliver, an Apple Watch winner. Sarah Hubbard. All Do right. Do you have any more glitter boxes? No, all the boxes have been given, but we have oh. more glitter. Oh. And we have um just throw glitter. We have there. gift cards. The whole website's gonna be wiped <laughs> out. No, it's not. Actually, Bujos are in stock. Just don't wanna promote it too much right now because we gotta get all those pre orders out. Yep. Um my team, pray for my team. This week is gonna be great. You have an amazing team. I do. J Dog is here. Uh, she's, she's Jacqueline. She's J on there. Uh, we call her J-Dog because she was one of my, yeah, this is a long story. I, yeah, it's a long story. We call her J-Dog. Uh, and she is, has been joined for, she's joined here for this whole event. Um, but fun fact, a lot of my team members have COVID this what? last, um, this last few weeks. And so I've been... You know, we've all been working together, but remotely, and it's been it's been fun, but one of those spiritual battles that we were talking about, and so um, nothing crazy. They haven't been too sick, but it's it was a lot. Yeah. It rocks. Let's do eleven thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna keep going. I am shutting it down right after this video. In nine minutes. Yep, we are going to tally up winners, get and all those names post together. A, the total grand total, like. On your yes, socials. I am gonna be moving tomorrow's video to the top. It's gonna be big with the total above it. How much we raised? How cool! All the winners. So thank you guys. Um, thank you to all the donors and the sponsors. We cannot thank you guys enough. Without you guys, you this won't run through them again. Has been lame. But uh, we have Icon Art. Okay, we featured them in the Nativity, which if you missed that video, I gave a lot of fun Nativity facts. For no good reason, but for a lot of good reasons. Uh, it, and we also featured them in the Oh Come Let Us Adore Him, which you don't want to miss. Uh, it was the home sign. I joined for that. He did, and I got a little feisty in that video because I wanted... Because I made one better than you. I That's want. Why. I wanted the home sign to be a real tutorial, and so I will be going live again with the home sign tutorial, um, just to just to have the home sign tutorial. Uh, okay, so expressions vinyl. We did the three the uh, huge characters, and I ended up making the Grinch six feet tall that I didn't want to finish. The Landis finished it for me. Michaels. Um, we made a lot of things using Michael stuff. This is actually a craft that I will be featuring Michaels in again. Um, after this, because today's sponsor was Michaels and the business members, but I am going to feature them again for that. Uh, Create Room, who's winning a dream cart. We talked about, we had Stephanie come and share why she loves her dream cart. You guys know why I love my dream cart. I have a whole video on it on YouTube. Um, we are memory keepers for giving a foil foil bundle. Uh, I featured a lot of my favorite things of We Are Memory Keepers, and you guys can bet that I will be showing off more of their stuff. And our business members, again, support them, love them, shop them. If you want to shop handmade, my business members are legit. They make some amazing things. Yeah, and good. then Shopping Today and um, all, all of the, uh, and now Honeycomb Workshop, Workshop Chronically Teresa, um, all the other people, if you're here, yell it out. Thank Shout you. Shout it out. And make sure people follow you. So you won't, yeah, you want to follow my whole team, everybody. Okay. Did I say that number? 
We're at $10,590. Yep, that's amazing. Thank, Thank you, guys. Kelsey. Thank you to everybody. I know there's many of you that have given multiple times over all the different days. You gave generously today, um, and we deeply appreciate that. It's going to be super cool to be able to reach out to Christ Hope International and send them one big old check. And I'm pretty sure that they'll be able to put a video together, a thank you video, yes. and we will loop that back to you guys so yep. you can see the impact that uh, you all have made uh, through Christ Hope International. So. Yes. And they've been asking how they can help through this whole thing. And so I apologize to the Christ Hope team for kind of leaving them in the dark. But I really just didn't want to burden them with any more stuff to do. Because they do do their annual end of the year giving stuff. And I know their team is really busy. And I just really wanted to have you guys come alongside them. Like I didn't want them to have to do much. They already do so much. Have fun on your channel. And raise money for something awesome yeah and right? make a sock of <laughs> sock of rice i've literally been like sitting here just playing with this sock of rice <laughs> like it, it is it is uh, like a stress relief thing, right right you could heat it you <laughs> could give it away just don't hit people with it you could um you could make it look like it has a hat i remember when you're pregnant you you put like a ton of rice in the fabric thing it was like a foot long and you put it in the microwave and heat it up yeah i made it for christmas gifts a long time ago i made everybody sock like rice bags that you <laughs> heat up and you put like lavender essential oils so i mean you could heat up your gnome and sleep on your gnome but guys i won't leave you hanging this guy is so cute we will do a tutorial yeah, just on the gnome it. we you will do it. a tutorial just on the angel <laughs> you let's put this one it. over here i top. like him so he looks like a veggie tail. If you like to talk to tomatoes. I think you need to go. Okay. We didn't even make it to 5 o'clock. Oh, well, yeah. So, what has been your biggest highlight of over the past 11 days? Okay, I'm not going to lie. The last 11 days has kind of been a blur. Um, I think I was reminded this morning um, just, like, just the growth that comes with like when you step out and do something like this and then the spiritual battles come and then you you work through them and not necessarily like Satan attacking you, but really God just kind of like allowing things to happen, but then also reminding you that none of that stuff even really matters. Like on, what was it, uh, print and cut day when nothing worked and I was like, whatever, we're just hanging out and chatting. Like, none of that even really matters. And the first day when I was, like, freaking out over the technology, I was like, doesn't even really matter. Yeah, it's super frustrating. But to get over that, obviously, like, like having you guys share and be excited about this and hear you how excited you guys were for this series made me so excited and it held me accountable I was like people are excited about this I have to keep going you know because if it was just and honestly um I don't stick to things for 12 days typically on my channel like series I will sometimes like I that's why I work so far ahead is sometimes I'm like if I don't work ahead it's not going to get done because I'll be over it and knowing that you guys are giving and being a part of all of this has helped me to stick to it like it really does even though our craft wasn't very successful today. <laughs> I will do it because I've said I'm going to do it. Hey, Ken, welcome. It's been a while. Ken's joining. Yes. All right. And Ken, we want to hear your Africa story too. I know it's been hard. I know your Africa trip was impactful and changed your life forever. And it's been three you years. About that like a year ago? He went a, a couple years ago. Oh, and, was it that And long? if there's anybody that understands you, Ken, I get it. It took me three years to even talk about my second trip, which... Still, I haven't even gone into all the stories. And I totally forgot the avocado story, which I told you guys to remind me. We have two minutes, so I'm going to share the avocado Whoa, story. One minute because avocado story. You guys Here we saw go. the big avocados, right? Okay. This is my favorite story, and my whole family never says guacamole the same. Well, you might, because you don't remember the story. But so we're sitting there, and we were eating, and Mama Felista is the best cook, and she cooks for the teams when they're over there, and she's amazing, and she makes amazing guacamole, and I was like, can I have some guacamole, please, and they were like, everybody busted up laughing, and they were like, I was like, what, and they were like, 
what did you just call this stuff? And I was like, guacamole? And they were like, guacamole. <laughs> they just <laughs> kept making fun of the way I say guacamole. They had no idea what that I was like, what do you call it? And they were like, avocados. <laughs> so it was just really funny. What do they call their mushed up avocados? Avocados. Oh. So now they call it guacamole, but it was just funny because they thought that word was hilarious because they're like guacamole, <laughs> and so now anytime guacamole is around, we all will be scooping guacamole. <laughs> so you cannot say butter without guacamole. saying butter, and you cannot say guacamole without saying guacamole. So because you got to make fun of the Muslims. You got to do that to a minion uh, oh, background. Man. Yeah, if there's anything, we get made fun of the way we talk when we're over there, and it's all fun and good times. It okay, is 5 o'clock. What is our total we're ending on? That is, I have the total um, turbo donate go there's now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Stephanie said last. Okay, that is hilarious. Yeah, it's, I love the The stories you come home with are just the best. Okay, I have to cut this off. I have another event, a Zoom event tonight, and... Um, I will see you guys on Monday morning for Craft Your Stash. No, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What am I talking about? Yeah. We have oh, man. You would have been like blown up if you didn't show up tomorrow. Yeah, what if I don't show up tomorrow? Oh, I'm yeah. going to show up tomorrow. I'll make sure she's there, guys. <laughs> oh, man. We should stay live for another hour, Lisa, but tomorrow we will be live for another hour. Um, and we will update tomorrow with a final total. Okay, the total we have right now is 10640 Yes, Queen. For all of you that have been pushing for eleven thousand, I, I I foresee by tomorrow morning that will be at eleven thousand. I'm cutting it off right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Jeez. Great job, guys. Okay, you so, crushed it. You guys are awesome. We made it over the ten grand that we were aiming for. Yes. So you guys are inspiring. Love I love you guys. it. I just want to say Asante Sana Squash Banana. That means thank you very much, Squash Banana. In Swahili. Okay. Bye, guys. You Bye. Rock. We'll Love you ya. guys.